Hello everyone and welcome again to the channel. Today we'll be seeing Royal Challengers Bangalore and what we feel that is going to be their strategy in this upcoming IPL 2022. So this video is on RCB uh, team's predictions for the IPL. To keep things simple, we will only look at the 18 member squad as that is the minimum number any squad is asked to maintain. Anything in additional is completely an individual franchisee decision. Also we shall be exploring the squad in different categories to give you a wholesome experience. We will be actually breaking this down up into uh, batsmen, all-rounders, bowlers, middle-order batsmen and maybe some extra batsmen as well. We will start with the openers. We already know that the RCB opening pair has been very successful. Uh, having said that, we know um, Devdat Parikal and Virat Kohli have been exceptional for RCB but now they have an option of David Warner um, who could join since uh, he's been uh, a former RCB captain and uh, he has successfully uh, led SRH in the past and now that he's available there's a good chance that RCB could look to him uh, as not only an opening top order batsman but since RCB don't have a captain as of now that becomes another additional option for the RCB team. We're talking about some backup for the top order batsman. You have KS Bharat who's been doing it um, for RCB in the last IPL but there's a good chance that Daryl Mitchell and Devon Conway could be picked in this new upcoming auction and RCB may look uh, forward to try and strengthen their uh, top order batting. Having said that, uh, RCB is a strong batting unit so the top order batting and the middle order batting is um, something that uh, RCB will be focusing on. Uh, Glenn Maxwell, one of the three which have been retained, is uh, bound to play a big role uh, um, for one of the reasons being that he could also be one option of leading the RCB team. Although there are no announcements as of now, but uh, Maxwell have, has had a very good uh, 2021 IPL and I feel uh, there will be a big role that uh, Maxwell is going to be expected to play. Now, apart from Maxwell, Liam Livingston and Adrian Markin are also available. They have not been picked by their particular franchises. That's the uh, Rajasthan Royals and Punjab Kings. So RCB will be looking to strengthen their middle order um, batting by trying and getting Liam and Adrian onto their bandwagon. Now with these people uh, involved and uh, hopefully uh, RCB is able to get uh, their middle and top order strong, uh, they would be also looking for local talent. And one name uh, which I feel uh, has not been uh, come up much but it looks like RCB may go in for some local talent as well and that would be uh, Abhinav Manohar. Abhinav Ma Manohar has been doing very well uh, at the uh, local level. He plays for Karnataka and has been uh, has emerged like one of the local uh, upcoming talents in the state. 
and there's a very good chance that Abhinav Manohar may also get a chance uh, to play for RCB this year. Coming to some all-rounders, which goes without saying, the two big names uh, that have already been part of the RCB lineup. Glenn Maxwell and Washington Sundar. Now, Glenn Maxwell and Washington, Washington Sundar have been um, a, a big, big part of the RCB team so far. They have played uh, a major role in the success of the team. And I feel apart from uh, these two, there are a couple of other names that we could uh, mention. Uh, and I'm sure that RCB will be looking to strengthen their all-round department because RCB is a team which does depend on it quite a bit. Now, apart from Glenn Maxwell and Washington Sundar, I feel Daryl Mitchell has a big role to play. Shabazz Ehman has already been part of the squad and they'll be trying to get him back in the auction. And as we saw, Liam Livingston could play a big role in, as well. Uh, now, with the inclusion of Daryl and Liam, uh, I feel RCB will be very big, strong contenders looking at their current batting order and the fact that they have um, a couple of world-class all-rounders in their uh, squad. Okay, so um, we'll move on to another big department which RCB um, is very strong in, their spinners. Uh, again, two big names uh, which I feel will make an impact in the 2022 season. Chehal himself, of course, and Washington Sundar both have been part of the squad and have been very successful for the RCB team. In fact, Chehel, I would go uh, ahead saying that if uh, if you go to the IPL website and you see their stats year on year for RCB, uh, nearly every year till 2021, Chehel was one of their top uh, wicket takers in uh, the past IPL. So I don't think they'll be looking to break this partnership of uh, uh, Chehel and Sundar. Um, I don't see a lot of change in the spin department here as well because they already would try and go for Shabazz Ahmed and Shabazz Ahmed uh, has proved to be a very handy uh, part-time spinner for them. Uh, and whenever the ball's been thrown to him, he's uh, showed that he can uh, uh, fulfill the uh, duties of the spinner that the captain expects from him. So I think uh, RCB is pretty set when it comes to spinners. I feel quite a bit of the changes are going to be where the pace department is concerned. Now, although they do have last year's top wicket taker, Harshal Patel, um, but I'm sure that they'll be looking to add some extra firepower and therefore Mitchell Stark. Mitchell Stark has been passed off the old RCB team. He's not been in the, in the side for a while now. But uh, I feel that uh, now that he's thrown his name in up for the auction, uh, RCB uh, I think should go in for him. Apart from their two main pacers, uh, Harshal and Siraj. So, this I feel is going to be the big uh, um, big man that they're going to go for in the pace department. So, once uh, uh, he's on board, I think it's going to make a big difference in the pace department for RCB. Um, however, having said that, uh, I feel they're going to go in for um, Prasad Krishna. He's been a big a rather very bright prospect for them and he's shown that he can be dependent on and now that KKR have not retained him I'm sure RCB will try and look to 
um, get him on board. They of course have uh, the services of Navdeep Saini and they'll try and retain him uh, in the coming uh, auction. Uh, he's been uh, a big find for them and he's been consistently performing. He's been doing his uh, Pacers duty. Uh, so I don't think they'll let him go that easily. He, we can uh, predict that he would also be part of the RCB uh, bandwagon. And uh, that brings us to the end. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, please make sure that you subscribe to our channel. Uh, make sure you uh, spread the word. Let your friends and family join in as well. Thank you and uh, be safe. Be happy.